Welcome to another vocabulary lesson. Today we're looking at clothes and fashion. Um, we're going to start with adjectives, phrasal verbs, and then some other verbs and some other idioms. So, firstly, um, some adjectives. Scruffy, first of all. Scruffy is an adjective which I think describes me because my hair is often quite scruffy. It's going out on different sides and you've probably noticed my clothes are often quite scruffy as well. Um, so scruffy is the opposite of smart or well-dressed. Um, if you're smart, we often say someone looks smart at a wedding, um, if they're wearing a tuxedo or a suit. Um, or people will sometimes have to be smart when they go to work. Fortunately, not me. Okay, uh, old-fashioned, obviously, it's quite an easy one, really. You probably guessed it means that it's you look like you're from an old era. Um, stylish or trendy mean fashionable. And we also say to start a trend or set a trend. Okay, start or set a trend. If you start the trend and you say, I started that trend. Um, and if something is all the rage, that means that it's in fashion at that moment. It's all the rage um, down in London. It means it's in fashion in London. Um, if clothes are baggy or loose, then that means they're much too big, really. They're um, very, very baggy trousers, which you often see nowadays. Uh, they'll be down somebody's legs, you know, so you can see their pants. They're very baggy trousers or very loose trousers. Now, the opposite of these adjectives would be tight or maybe skimpy. Tight means that it's pulling against your skin. So lycra, um, these, these kind of materials are very tight. Um, you could also have tight leather trousers or something like that. Um, skimpy often means small um, and tight. So you talk about a skimpy skirt or a skimpy bikini, something like this. Um, stunning, eye-catching, gorgeous are obviously all very positive. I suppose you could say elegant as well as another adjective to describe how uh, very often how a lady dresses when she's wearing a beautiful um, evening dress. Um, okay, never underestimate the power of phrasal verbs. Um, we use them all the time for clothes and fashion, and this is why all kids in England will know these from a very early age. Um, so never mix up, put on, take off. Okay, a very common mistake is to mix those up. Um, I'm sure I don't need to explain them. Um, try something on in a shop before you buy it. Hang it up when you come back home. If you wear a pair of trainers very, very often, they will eventually wear out, which means that they become too old to use anymore. They're very thin soles now and holes in them. So the trainers have worn out. Um, a new trend catches on. Yeah, you say a new trend is catching on at the moment in my area. A new trend for wearing baseball caps backwards or something like that. Sounds quite <laughs> from a different era again, a long time ago that that was trendy. Okay, to dress up means to wear nice clothes. So perhaps some people have to dress up for work. But some companies have a dress down day, a dress down Friday, where you can wear casual clothes. So it's another adjective to describe dress casual you can wear casual clothes on the dress down day but on when you dress up you have to dress up for a wedding really because you have to make an effort and dress up and look nice um okay to do something up like a coat do your coat up do your zip up do your buttons up as well do up buttons if you have buttons and not a zip but you can do up a zip or you can zip it up so zip up is another one and you can do up your shoes or you can tie them up so you can do up shoes or tie them up not zip them up usually unless they're boots where you do zip them up sometimes um, so all very useful um, to roll up your sleeves yeah roll up your sleeves roll them up tie back your hair if you're uh, if you have long hair and you want to keep it out of your eyes you tie it back um, again you have to in some situations tie back your hair and one which all kids hear at school from their teachers tuck your shirt in tuck your shirt in tuck it in tuck it in they always tell kids to do this and kids hate doing it um, so it just means put your shirt inside your trousers don't let it hang down so that it looks all scruffy um, okay, if something fits you, it's the right size. 
Okay, we're just talking about size when we say, do they fit? Are they the right size or are they too loose or too tight? Or are they the right size? Go with means the same as match, which means if you say your jacket goes with your eyes, it means your jacket matches your eyes. If you say um, your shoes go with your trousers, it just means that they look nice together. Very often the colours match. Um, okay, and lastly, to suit, if something suits you, it looks nice on you. It's It looks good on you. Okay, so if you say, uh, yeah, I like your new jacket, it suits you, it's a compliment. Okay, now we'll go on to some nouns and some styles um, and some ways of describing different clothes themselves.